हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम इन माय वर्चुअल मैथ क्लास दिस क्लास इज फॉर क्लास सेवेन एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज चैप्टर फोर्टीन इन वेस्ट बेंगल बोर्ड ऑफ सेकेंडरी एडुकेशन मैथ्स बुक चैप्टर फोर्टीन द चैप्टर फोर्टीन इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स टुडे टॉपिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्रायंगल्स एंड आई एम हरुचंद्र गौर फ्रम चंदन नगर श्री अरबिंद विद्या मंदिर टूडे टपिक प्रपार्टीज अब ट्राइंगल चैप्टर फोर्टीन एंड पेज नम्बर वन सेवेंटी टू एट फार्ष्ट डिफाइन ह्वाट इज ट्राइंगल ह्वाट इज ट्राइंगल ए क्लोज जिओमेट्रिकल फिगार Everybody known a close geometrical figure a close geometrical shape bounded by three लाइन सेगमेंट इज कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड ए ट्रायंगल एज फॉर एग्जांपल ए क्लोज ज्योमेट्रिकल फिगर बाउंडेड बाय थ्री लाइन सेगमेंट्स दिस इज वन लाइन सेगमेंट another line segment and another line segment this is the closed geometrical figure bounded by three line segments here ab c ab is a line segment bc is line segment and ac is line segment this closed fi geometrical figure bounded by ab bc and ac this is the called triangle here abc is a triangle from this triangle we see that the point a b c the point of intersection of two line segments is called vertices so point a is called vertex b is called vertex and c is called vertex so in a triangle there are three vertices a b c a b c three points are vertex in a in a triangle in a triangle there are there are three vertices and the line segment ab bc and ac are the called edge or sides of of a triangle in a triangle so there are three sides ab bc and ac in a triangle in a triangle there are three sides three sides in a triangle there are three sides now the triangle according to sides maybe three sides are different maybe three sides are equal if if th here three sides if three sides are equal then the triangle is called and equilateral triangle now we draw equilateral triangle length of three sides equal
length of three sides equal abc is a triangle a b c in triangle in triangle a b c if a b equals to b c equals to c a this length of three sides equal then the triangle is called an equilateral triangle then the triangle is is an then the triangle abc then the triangle this triangle the triangle abc is an equilateral triangle so what is equilateral triangle the equilateral triangle if length of three sides are equal then the triangle is and called is called an equilateral triangle next next if if two sides if any two sides any two sides of a triangle of a triangle are equal if any two sides of a triangle are equal then then the triangle is called an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle if any two sides of a triangle are equal then the triangle is called an isosceles triangle next we draw an isosceles triangle triangle a b c if a b equals to a c two sides equal a b and a c a b and a c equal c is a base a b c is a tri triangle and side a b equal to side a c so in triangle a b c in triangle in triangle a b c if any two sides maybe ab equals to bc here ab equals to ac if this side equal to this side or this side equal to this side or this side equal to this side now we draw this side equal to this side well, that is ab equals to ac if ab equal to ac then the triangle then the triangle abc is called an isosceles isosceles triangle if three sides are equal then the triangle is an equilateral triangle if any two sides are equal then the triangle is an isosceles triangle where the triangle is an isosceles triangle next if if three sides are not equal if if three sides of a triangle of a triangle are unequal then the triangle is called 
is called scalene triangle scalene triangle if three sides of a triangle are unequal then the triangle is called scalene triangle now we draw a figure of scalene triangle three unequal sides this side this sides this three sides are unequal the triangle is a b c in triangle in triangle a b c a b not equals to bc not equals to ac then the triangle abc is scalene triangle scalene triangle triangle is scalene triangle now the triangle according to sides the triangles are three types equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and scalene triangle according to angles triangle are also three types first we define acute angle triangle if if three in a triangle also we should see that in a triangle there are three vertices a b c there are three vertices three sides a b b c and a c three sides and two sides from an angle so th is this so you see that from the figure of triangle in a triangle there are three angles right in a triangle in a triangle there are there are three angles in a triangle there are three angles according to angles if 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 three angles three angles all are all are acute acute that is value of value of all angles between 0 degree to 90 degree then then the triangle is called is called an acute angle acute angle triangle acute angle triangle now we draw an acute angle triangle all angles at 0 degree to 90 degrees a b c in triangle in triangle a b c angle a angle b angle c are lies between 0 degree to 90 degree then the triangle ABC is an acute
एक्वीड एंगल ट्रायंगल एक्वीड एंगल ट्रायंगल नेक्स्ट वी डिफाइन ऑप्टिव्स एंगल ट्रायंगल इफ द थ्री एंगल्स इफ वन वैल्यू ऑफ वन एंगल इज 0 डिग्री टू 90 डिग्री इफ ऑल एंगल्स लाइज बिटवीन 0 डिग्री टू 90 डिग्री then the triangle is called equitangle triangle next we define right angle triangle if if measurement of if measurement of measurement of one angle of a of a triangle is one right angle one right angle then then the triangle is called right angle triangle right angle triangle in a triangle one angle is right angle then the triangle is called right angle triangle now we draw a right angle triangle must be one angle is right angle right angle means measurement is 90 degree in the triangle abc in triangle abc angle b equals to one right angle one right angle then the triangle triangle abc is called right angle triangle in the right angle triangle there is a one property in right angle triangle the opposite sides to the right angle is called hypotenuse now we write the properties of right angle triangle properties now the chapter is property properties of triangles now properties of right angle triangle right angle triangle number 1 property the opposite sides to the right angle opposite side to the right angle opposite side to the right angle is called is called hypotenuse is called hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle property is number 2 the hypotenuse is the longest sides of a right angle triangle hypotenuse of hypotenuse is the is the greatest greatest side of a right angle triangle right angle triangle and in a right angle triangle very important property this is this property is pythagoras theorem now the property is 
one side in a right angle triangle one side is hypotenuse and other two sides one is called perpendicular and another is called base here ac is already hypotenuse in the right angle triangle b is right angle ac is hypotenuse if ab is perpendicular then bc is base and if ab is base then bc is perpendicular then in a right angle triangle hypotenuse is fixed and base are perpendicular at change if one side is perpendicular then other side is base in a right angle triangle very important property hypotenuse square square equals to sum of other two sides square sum of sum of sum of squares of other two sides sum of squares of other two sides so this is equals to perpendicular square perpendicular square plus base square very important property in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square equals to sum of squares of other two sides one is perpendicular another is base so perpendicular square plus base square next obtuse angle triangle if if measurement of measurement of one angle not all angle of one angle is is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is greater than is obtuse that is that is greater than 90 degree greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree then the triangle then the triangle is called obtuse angle triangle the triangle is called obtuse angle triangle one angle must be one angle is obtuse now the angle b is this is a triangle Now we draw this triangle. Close geometrical figure bounded by three line segments A, B, C. Obviously, from the figure we see that the angle B is obtuse. In triangle A, B, C, angle B equals to angle B is greater than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree then the triangle then the triangle abc is called obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle triangle so from the discussion we see that the triangles are six type according to sides triangle are three types according to sides triangle are three types and according to angles triangles are three types now according to angles this is the according to sides according to sides three types 
first type which is equilateral second is isosceles isosceles and third is scalene and according to angles according to angles this is according to angles according to angles according to angles first one is acute angle triangle acute angle second one is right angle triangle and third one is scalene yeah, third one is obtuse angle triangle obtuse angle triangle basically the triangles are six types according to sides three types and according to angles three types next we define in a triangle the midpoint of the sides a line segment joining a vertex to the opposite vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side is called median define median first i write definition median a line segment a line segment joining 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 any vertex any vertex to to midpoint of to midpoint of opposite sides of it opposite side a line segment joining any vertex to midpoint of opposite side to the vertex to the vertex is called is called median is called a median next we repeat the definition a line segment joining any vertex to midpoint of opposite side to the vertex is called a median the median is a line segment joining a line segment joining two points one point is vertex and another point is midpoint whose midpoint now the midpoint is the opposite sides of the vertex is midpoint now we draw a triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. ABC. This is A B C. Now let midpoint of BC BD using scale and compass. We find the midpoint of BC. Just bisect the BC and let the midpoint of AC be E and midpoint of AB be F. If a line segment joining a vertex, any vertex, vertex let A to the midpoint opposite sides, opposite sides of the vertex A is BC. Now midpoint of the BC is D. So, so a line segment joining A and D. This is the AD. AD is a median. In the triangle, in a triangle, in a triangle, D is a, in a triangle, D, in a triangle, ABC, D is a midpoint, D 
D is a midpoint of side BC, then AD is a median of triangle ABC. Similarly, we can say that D is also median and CF is also median. Also, BE and CF are two medians of triangle ABC. So, in a triangle, there are three medians AD, BE, and CF. In a triangle, in a triangle there are three median three medians also the properties of the medians properties three medians are concurrent what is the meaning of concurrent if the three lines passing through a common point, three or more lines passing through a common point, then the lines are called concurrent. Again, we repeat the definition concurrent. Two lines always intersecting. Now, three lines are not passing through the common point, there are three lines. These three lines are not passing through a common point. If three or more lines passing through a common point, so this is the common point, then these lines are called concurrent. If three or more lines passing through a common point, then these lines are called concurrent. Here, three medians, AD and BE, and CF CF three medians AD, B, and CF are concurrent. Properties number one three medians medians of a triangle of a triangle are concurrent are concurrent properties number 2 this and 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 the point of and the point of and the concurrent point concurrent point is called the concurrent point is called centroid. The concurrent point is called centroid of the triangle. Properties number two of medians. All medians are inside the triangle. All medians are inside are inside the triangle inside the triangle number 3 a median divide a median of a triangle divide 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 a median of a triangle divide the triangle divide the triangle in in two triangles two triangles okay 
थैंक यू दिस इज माई ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दिस इज द पार्ट वन एंड नेक्स्ट डे वी विल डिस्कस द हाइट्स एंड अदर प्रॉपर्टीज हाइट्स ऑल्टीट्यूड्स तो देर आर सो मेनी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्राइंगल ओके थैंक यू